So what's going on everybody and welcome back or to Geekly Goods. My name is Leo Rydell and today we're here to review Gunpowder Milkshake, y'all. And whew, I gotta say, I wish I liked it a little bit more, you guys. But before we dive into the review, what the heck is Gunpowder Milkshake? So to protect an eight-year-old girl, a dangerous assassin reunites with her mother and her lethal associates to take down a ruthless crime syndicate in this army of henchmen. The movie is directed by Navo Papuchato and it stars Karen Gillan, Lena Headey, Michelle Yeoh, Angela Bassett. I'm naming so many names that are really amazing. I mean, seriously, it should have been as amazing as some of these cast members. Yeah, Carla Gugino in there as well there are so many amazing cast members in this and unfortunately it falls just a little bit short but let's start with what works for me so one thing that works is the action in the second half of the film I think in the first half it's lingering a little but in that second half there's some entertaining action it may not be as stylish as John Wick but it was at least entertaining to keep you strapped in your seat and enjoying it and hey who doesn't like Lena Headey and Karen Gillan firing off some guns at people Angela Bassett Michelle Yo, Carla Gugino. I mean, seriously, when we get these action scenes with them, that is when the movie really kicks it up for me. Unfortunately, the first and second acts didn't quite work, but again, I will come back to that later on in the review. I enjoy the production design. I enjoy the neon lighting. Not so much the editing and cutting, but we'll get to that later as well. I do also enjoy Karen Gillan. I think she's a cool main protagonist. I do think her line delivery is a little weak and the script's a little weak, but I still like her in the centerfold of the story. And I do, of course, I always love Lena Headey and I love the librarians, Angela Bassett, Michelle, Yo and Carla Gugino do an excellent job. I mean, they're all great actresses with what they're given at least. So let's get into what maybe doesn't quite work. So I gotta admit, I have a lot to talk about in terms of what doesn't work, guys. And one thing that really doesn't work is the script. I feel like these lines are just not poetic at all. I feel like they're not moving. I feel like they're just not creative, guys. And I don't think they're that cohesive, but this is an action movie. So of course the script is not gonna be one of the best points, but let me get to the editing, which I think is particularly weak, especially in some of the fight scenes early on in the movie. I think that there were a lot of cutaways I think that the fight choreography is maybe not as good or as pronounced. I think that unfortunately earlier in the film it suffers from pretty bad pacing guys like pretty bad pacing in the sense that I'm almost bored in the first 20 to 25 minutes of this movie and I wish that we had this rampant action that we have later in the movie. I wish that they kind of sprinkled that throughout a little bit more evenly and that some of the action sequences in the earlier parts of the film were actually more entertaining. There were some action sequences that just weren't really there, unfortunately. And I know I complimented the action in the beginning, but that's the action in the second half, guys. I feel like the first half of this movie is really, really slow and I don't see a big reason for it in a movie like this, you know, in a film where it seems like the pacing should be extremely rapid here things are very very slow in the beginning and they open up so slowly that it took me out of it a little bit because I, like I want some quick action scenes I want some fast pace like Karen Gillan is protecting this young girl from this group of assassins and I don't really feel too much urgency I know that there's plot armor there I don't really feel a sense of one of them is gonna end up biting the bullet there's just not a lot of plot armor and big stakes to be had because you already know they're gonna escape anyway so it just doesn't really give you too much tension there aren't that many super tense moments in the first half and so I gotta go with pacing scripting editing unfortunately the fight choreography is not that strong either i really wanted to love this movie guys but i do really like the symbolism of the milkshake and you catch that in probably the first 10 minutes of the movie there is some really important and cool symbolism to the milkshake which i really enjoyed but there was a lot of issues with this movie and i just I, honestly guys i don't think this is a hit i really wished it was like i really wish i was walking out of this feeling atomic blonde vibes feeling female john wick but look i'm really not guys unfortunately if i had to give this movie a rating gunpowder milkshake y'all i am going with a five out of ten I, it just didn't hit it for me it didn't hit it for me. Look, I loved Black Widow this last weekend. Really wasn't a big fan of this though. I think that there are just so many misses. And like I said with the script, 
it's just so not good that the even the great actresses don't really deliver the lines the best because there's just not anything too good to work with but in the second half of the film there's some really cool action but unfortunately none of that is enough to make up for that unfortunate first and second act that just drag on and on due to the bad pacing the editing is just jarring and all over the place with those fight scenes especially the fight choreography is off I just had a lot of issues with this movie, but I really hope that some of my critic friends end up enjoying it. And you know what? Hey, if you're a fan of action movies, I would say give it a shot. It might be your flavor. Look, maybe I like a certain flavor of milkshake that you might not like and vice versa. So you know what? If you're an action fan, I would suggest checking it out. But guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. If you enjoyed this review, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below for your boy Leo Rydell. And we will see you next time on Geekly Goods.